I recently made a video where I explored the idea of what it could be like if there was another Pokemon that evolved like Eevee. It was a lot of fun, and while I only gave a few evolutions to my Fakemon in that video, I mentioned that if the video did well, I would be down to cover more of the evolutions, and you guys showed up and helped that video to do really well. I appreciate that a ton, and so today, I am here to continue that concept by providing evolutions of every single remaining type that we did not cover in that previous video. Yeah, I am not playing around with this one. There are 12 types to cover that we did not go over in that previous video, and we're gonna cover all of them, so we have got a lot of fun stuff to check out today. And helping to make it all possible is today's lovely sponsor, Dave. Dave's support is what makes extra cool videos like this able to happen, and they can support you in the same way. You never know what life's gonna throw at you from day to day, and sometimes it involves finances, but Dave is the banking app that's leveling the financial playing field. When you download Dave, you can get up to $500 in 5 minutes or less. No credit check, no late fees. It's part of Dave's extra cash account. Advance the money when you need with no interest, and then settle up later. Essentially, Dave can help you out during those unexpected moments when you don't want to wait for your paycheck to come through. So if that sounds like something that interests you, you can download Dave today at dave.com slash hoops. That's dave.com slash hoops. You could get up to $500 in 5 minutes or less when you download Dave. No credit check, no late fees. Download the Dave app now or go to dave.com slash hoops. For terms and conditions, go to dave.com slash legal. Eligibility criteria and instant transfer fees apply. Banking services provided by Evolve, member FDIC. And again, a big thank you to Dave for supporting the channel. So if you haven't seen that first video, I recommend checking it out, but I'll give a super brief overview here so you're up to speed if you haven't seen it. In trying to create a Pokemon that could evolve like Eevee, I came up with Egaloo. He's a dragon type and based off of a dragon egg as a way of explaining its ability to evolve into a Pokemon of every type. Its unique twist, however, along with being a dragon type, is that it does dual type evolutions instead of monotype evolutions. I also introduced five of those evolutions for Egaloo in that previous video, and they are Wyburn, Grassalisk, Wetzikotl, Clockatrice, and Goolong. The theme of these evolutions is that they all have punny names that involve their typing and the name of a dragon, to represent not only their dragon type, but also the type that each of them have individually in a fun way. So that is what we're going to be working with going into this video, where we're going to create evolutions for every single remaining type that we haven't done already. And with that said, I would like to begin with an exciting announcement. Egaloo is coming to Histrobi Chronicles. That's right, this little guy was welcomed so well by all of you that I am going to include him in my very own monster catching video game that I am currently developing. You'll be able to explore with him, battle with him, and evolve him into some of these evolutions, as I'm also going to be including some of the evolutions into the game as well, but that is where you guys come in. As you watch the video, I want you to comment on which of these evolutions you would most like to see in Histrobi Chronicles, and the evolutions with the most comments in their favor I will actually be including into the game. This will strictly be decided by you guys, as I'm leaving it entirely up to you, and I'm planning on including around 3 to 5 of these evolutions in total, so be sure to choose wisely, and once again, leave your choices in the comments. And as a quick recap, just so they get their fair shot, in the last video we saw Wyburn, the fire type, Grassalisk, the grass type, Wetzikotl, the water type, Clockatrice, the fighting type, and Goolong, the ghost type. So be sure to consider them along with these new evolutions as well as you make your picks, because they're definitely pretty cool too. And with that said, let's go ahead and jump into some new evolutions.
I've decided to use a random generator to determine the order that I'm gonna go in here, and the first type that has popped up is Poison. So I would like you guys to meet Toxu. Toxu is Dragon Poison type, and gets its name from Toxic and Tatsu, which is a Japanese word that means dragon. With these evolutions, I have also given them all a similar build design-wise, similar to the evolutions, so that they all feel cohesive with one another as a part of an evolutionary family. But that doesn't mean that they won't look distinctly different and unique as well, as our next evolution will clearly show. We're gonna look at the flying type next, so without further ado, this is Flydra. I really like this evolution for its name in particular because it really captures that punny theme that I'm going for here, as it obviously comes from Fly as a flying type, and then Hydra, the mythical multi-headed dragon. As I mentioned in the last video as well, you will sometimes see that the dragons used in the names for these designs aren't literally the exact type of dragon that these designs are, but that is intentional, as the names are simply meant to denote them as a dragon, and again, help with the fun, punny nature of the names themselves. Anyways though, let's go ahead and take a look at another evolution, and this time we're going for the fairy type. So I would like you all to meet Gallimander. Gallimander is a good example of how difficult it was to come up with some of the names for these designs, as Gallimander's was the result of a lot of difficult brainstorming. I ultimately settled on Gallimander though because I thought it sounded nice, it creates a good pun with Salamander, specifically of the more mythical variety where they have an association with fire and are much more dragon-like, and then also the word Gala, as in a fancy party, and I thought the fairy type could fit well with a fancier Pokemon that looks like it's going to a Gala. That is why we gave it these robe-like appendages on its arms to try and give it at least a little bit of a feeling that it was all dressed up like you would be going to a gala, but either way, overall, I think Gallimander ended up as a pretty solid design, all things considered. I also need to really quick give a big shout out to my man R. Grey Wind, aka Oscar, who drew the artwork of all of these designs. He obviously does great work and he was super great to help me get all of these done for this one single video, so be sure to check him out with the links in the description. Our next type is Electric, and our Electric Evolution is none other than Dracone. From the design to the name, I really like how this one turned out because I think he looks pretty cool and the name, while it did require some extended thought, turned out just about as well as I could have hoped, as it comes from Draco, the Latin word for dragon, and Ohm, which is a unit of electrical measurement. And together, they flow together really well to make a really nice sounding name that I think works really well. So if you like Draco or any of these others, remember to leave your votes in the comments and they could potentially make it into his Stroby Chronicles. Now we're gonna look at the ice type though, so I would like to introduce you guys to Snorochi. In contrast to Dracom's more lizardy design, Snorochi has more of a prehistoric dinosaur type of look, and that's one of the things that I really like about these evolutions, is that they have a variety of different looks and they all have a look of their own, while also still appearing as if they can be a part of the same evolutionary family. The name Snorochi, meanwhile, comes from Snow, representing its ice type, and Yamata no Orochi, a legendary dragon-like creature from Japanese mythology. As we move on to this next evolution, I also just wanted to mention, just so it's clear, that there isn't going to be a dragon type evolution, because these evolutions are all dual typed and Egaloo is already a dragon type to begin with. I debated whether or not that should be the case for a little bit, but I figured that was the best way to go with this concept, and the dragon type is already well represented anyway, obviously, so hopefully that's cool with you guys, and I just wanted to bring it up so we're all on the same page. Anyways, our next type to cover is the steel type, so I would like you guys to meet Tindworm. Tindworm is probably one of my favorite designs of the bunch, just purely based on its design alone, and the name works pretty well too, I think, as it comes from Tin, a type of metal, and Lindworm, which is a type of dragon. 
And now with the steel type covered, this next one is going to be a big one, because we are now going to cover the bug type. Fans have wanted to see a dragon bug type Pokemon forever, and it still hasn't happened yet, but I am here to bring you one myself with Cicadra. This is not the only way that you could do a bug dragon type by a long shot, but it does do a good job in my opinion of showing the potential of this type combination and how well these types can truly come together, while also at the same time fitting in as a good member of this particular evolutionary group. This one was also one of the trickiest to come up with a name for as well, but I think Cicadra ended up being a great fit, as it comes from Cicada, which it actually looks a bit like as well, so that's pretty cool, and then of course it also comes from Dragon. And as another mention from that previous video, all of these evolutions would evolve from Egaloo with the use of various scale items. So for example, if you wanted to evolve Egaloo into Cicadra, you would expose it to a bug scale. And if you wanted to evolve Egaloo into a normal type evolution, you would expose it to a normal scale and you would get Paragon, the normal type evolution for Egaloo. Now, ironically, the normal type evolution is probably one of the most unique in terms of how it came together, because while all of the other evolutions have a distinctive element with their secondary type that their whole design is a lot more easily based around, the normal type doesn't exactly have that, so Paragon just ends up having to be kind of plain. That is why it naturally looks more like a straightforward evolution of Egaloo, but then going along with the ironic uniqueness of its design once again, its name is also pretty unique amongst this group as well, as it is the only one that doesn't technically use the name of a dragon in its name. However, the name is still pretty ingenious if I do say so myself, as it comes from the word paragon, which means to be a model of excellence or perfection, and then it also comes from the phrase par for the course, which is defined as meaning what is normal or expected in any given circumstances. So essentially, Paragon translates as it being a model of normalcy, which is exactly what its design is. And it also keeps the pun theme for all of these Pokemon by making a pun out of the word Paragon. So it just turned out really well overall in my opinion, even though it is a bit different compared to the others. And it even has a connection to dragons as well, as it is spelled near identically to tarragon, a type of plant whose species name, Dracunculus, means little dragon. So this one really and truly did come together full circle in just about as cool of a way as it could have for a normal type, in my opinion. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the ground type though, and repping the ground type in this group is Terrariu. Design-wise, this one is another one of my more favorite of the evolutions, as I think it turned out pretty cool, and I especially love how its body is so low to the ground, referencing its typing. Its name comes from Ryu, another Japanese word for dragon, and Terrarium, which references Earth and, of course, the ground. And with ground, we might as well go ahead and do its cousin, the rock type, next, and go ahead and reveal Kragon. This is another one that has one of my favorite designs of the bunch, and would quite possibly be one of the ones that I would pick to go into Histrobi Chronicles. But it's not up to me, it's up to you guys, so be sure to leave those picks in the comments. The name Kragon is another thing that I really like about this guy as well, as I feel like the name came together really well and just flows really naturally, as it comes from Krag, referring to rocks, and obviously it's rock typing, and Dragon. And with the ground and rock types now out of the way, we now have just two more types to cover, Dark and Psychic. 
Not only are these two of the more intriguing types in terms of an evolution, but I would say that they're also two of the cooler evolutions from this bunch as well. And with that said, let's go ahead and begin with the dark type and talk about Scarawent first. I think this design turned out great and matches the vibes of the dark type perfectly, but with Scarowent in particular, it is the name that really needs a little bit more explanation. It comes from Scare, which is pretty straightforward for a dark type, and the word Arrowent, which is obviously the more unique side of this name. The word Arrowent, from what I've been able to research, is actually a Celtic word that refers to a dragon or a dragon-like beast. As you can probably tell, I definitely had to think and look outside of the box a little bit on this one, but overall, I think it came together pretty well. Lastly though, we now have the Psychic type, and I would like to introduce you guys to Ouroboros. Again, I have said this a few times already, but really with this one, I think it's probably my favorite overall out of any of these evolutions, in terms of its design in particular, because the design came out looking fantastic in my opinion. The name ended up working out pretty well too, as Ouroboros comes from Aura, which refers to its psychic abilities, and Ouroboros, the famous serpent who eats its own tail, who is often depicted as a dragon as well. And with that, that is an evolution of every type for Little Egaloo, and that is how I would approach creating another Mon that can evolve like Eevee. Remember, be sure to vote with a comment on which of these evolutions you would like to see in Histrobi Chronicles, and the top few evolutions with the most votes in the comments will actually be included in the game. You can also check out the Histrobi Chronicles playlist right here to learn more about the game if you need to get caught up. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really appreciate it, and I will smell you guys later.